Hey Woodside family, my name is Ryan Russell. I have the privilege of serving as the Woodside Pontiac Campus Pastor. And today I have a great privilege. Uh, and you have a great privilege that we're gonna share in together, that we're gonna be meeting virtually with our global partner in Liberia from Word Sower Liberia, Kim Smith. And he is gonna share what's going on in his ministry, what God is using him to do, and all the things that we unfortunately missed on our short-term trips this year. But please continue to pray for our brother and you're gonna see in this awesome interview all the great things that God is doing and all the ways that we can still be in partnership with the work that's going on at Word Sower Liberia. So you're in for a treat. So uh, we would normally be sending short-term teams, short-term mission trip teams to Liberia. And obviously when the world seems to turn upside down, some of that changes. Uh, so we're, we're not gonna be able to give a, sort of a story of a short-term team that has gone to Liberia and come back. So we would love to hear directly from your mouth, kind of what has been going on over the past year plus and, and looking at the global pandemic really in two ways, Kim. One, uh, how have things perhaps been broken that has provided greater challenge to you in the ministry, but then also as many of us have seen that the, the global pandemic also showed some areas of blessedness, uh, some surprise that we've seen. So how have you been challenged uh, and the work's been challenged by the global pandemic, but then also maybe an area of blessedness and surprise that you've seen over this past year and a half? Amen. Well, very exciting. This pandemic has been a great blessing to us. Hmm. Liberia shut their international borders they shut all the county borders and they didn't want people traveling from city to city. They wanted everybody to remain. Well, our ministry is going out to the villages. It's going out to the towns. It's going out to the counties. So what man shuts, the Lord can open a door that no man can shut. And the exciting thing was he gave us a, an idea. And the idea was that we're going to produce booklets. And we produced almost 100,000 booklets. And we contacted the government, and the government didn't have uh, the ability to take the training to the people. So we produced these booklets of training for safety and procedures concerning COVID. But we also put the gospel in there. And so the booklet had the safety for COVID and the gospel. and. We crossed every border unhindered. We went into every city, town, village, highly welcomed, encouraged. And when we'd go into a village or a town, they would all gather around to hear the safety information for COVID, but they also got the gospel. And we spread the gospel into every county, over a thousand villages and towns and cities, we brought this uh, training for COVID and the gospel. It was a great time. It was an evangelistic explosion for us. We loved it. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's, that's so <laughs> exciting to hear that, you know, while many people have faced deep, deep difficulty, uh, I think it's refreshing to see that the gospel is going to move forward no matter what. And, yes. and seeing that innovation, uh, and, and that's just great that the Holy Spirit puts a, an idea and a message in your heart to carry the gospel in creative ways. So praise Amen. God for that. Um, you know, so I, I've been privileged to know a bit of what Word Sower Liberia does following up with, uh, you know, email correspondences and having uh, a member at our church, Ana de Carvalho, who is our, our, yeah. our uh, partnership uh, coordinator here. Uh, and she's an amazing woman. She shares with me kind of yeah. what's going on with Word Sower Liberia. Uh, and there's been an amazing explosion, like you said, you know. 2,000 yes. mission trips, 30,000 people ministered to, 1,000 pastors trained. That's just some of the metrics that we know. Right. Um, so, so with that in mind, what are you hoping and what are you asking? What, are you, what is the burden on your heart for God to do with Word Sower Liberia and with you, Kim Smith, uh, over the next year or so? Amen. You know, uh, God gives us a vision unto our feet. And as we walk in obedience to the vision he's given us, he increases the light. He increases the vision. Mm -hmm. And we've been here over 12 years ministering. Mm -hmm. And the challenge for us this year is we right now have three indigenous missionary teams going to all five unreached tribes of Liberia. Right now, every unreached tribe of Liberia has an indigenous missionary team that we have trained and sent. That is huge. That is huge. 
But then we're surrounded in West Africa with nations that don't have the gospel, with nations that have unreached tribes. West Africa has 393 unreached tribes of 147 million lost souls that are not hearing and knowing the gospel. Sierra Leone is right next door to us, borders us. They have 11 unreached tribes of over a million people. Right now, we have a team trained. They've spied out the land. They've spent two months with the Tenemi Banta tribe. The Tenemi Banta tribe, according to Joshua Project, who monitors uh, the tribes of the world, says there are 0.00% Christians in the Tenemi Banta tribe. Well, that sounds to me like that's the place we need to be. We are ready to send another team into Sierra Leone to the Tenemi Banta tribe. Right next to us, another bordering country is Guinea. Guinea is 87% unreached tribes. Right now, today, we've spied out the land. We have a team trained, our team ready to go, indigenous missionary team to go into Guinea and to this unreached country. We also have a team in Ivory Coast. We've had a team in Ivory Coast for two years. They have 39 unreached tribes and they're training uh, and preparing to send indigenous teams into the unreached tribes. These are some of our challenges. These are our goals. I'm excited. Can you imagine we have an indigenous missionary team in every unreached tribe of a country in West Africa? That's oh, that's huge. Yeah. But when is enough enough? Hmm. It is never enough mm -hmm. until every tribe has been reached. The command of Christ, go to all the tribes. There's 7,000 out there. Yeah. Yeah. But here's another beautiful challenge that Woodside is just a part of, and I know they love it. Woodside has the global 100. And in just two weeks, I'm going to pick up two men from the global 100 that Woodside is sending to us. And they're gonna be with us for seven months. And our assignment, train them and yeah. send them back to you, prepared and trained as missionaries to go. Dan Park, he came and spent almost a year with us. He came back to Woodside, finished his training, and now he's a missionary in India. And so that is so exciting that two more are coming for training to be sent wherever the Lord would have them to go among the 7,000 unreached tribes of the world. 42% of the world is made up of unreached tribes. It's an amazing, uh, amazing opportunity. And I love the way that you put it, Russ. That, that's how all of our hearts should beat towards this mission, right? All of us that are in Christ's family, that's that's what our, our passion should be. And, and just as an aside, I had a great opportunity to sit and pray with those two young men uh, that are coming. Uh, so we talked Amen. about that tonight and they are thrilled, absolutely thrilled. Uh, and I said, don't worry, Kim, Kim's going to take good care of you, right? <laughs> he's been in our <laughs> home, he's had a fish fry. With sure. Us. Don't worry, you'll, you'll be just Amen. fine. Uh, but they are Ooh. thrilled. Go ahead. We have another challenge. Hmm. Our school, that school building, we can't fit all of the students in. And we need to start a construction job to increase a new school building, use our old school building for housing. Right now, we're in the middle of uh, creating more housing. We got uh, a facility we're building to house more students. And uh, really, we're building this also for teams to come from Woodside. We're doing this for our global partners to have a place to stay. And our challenge is this construction project. We want to get this construction project completed. And so that's another challenge that we have. Yeah, lots of opportunity and lots of uh, ways that we can be praying for you. And I think Amen. that's the next appropriate place for us to go. 
uh, a, kind of a threefold question, a threefold prayer request, uh, so to speak. Yes. How can we pray for you and your heart, brother? You are, you're my brother in the Lord. And, and I know that mm. sometimes, uh, you know, ministry can wear on us. Ministry can wear yes. us, on, especially frontier evangelism. Uh, so Same. one, how can we be praying for your heart specifically as our brother? Two, how can we pray for the ministry specifically, Word Sower Liberia, if there's anything beyond some of the, the great things that you've already mentioned to us? And then three, this one's a bit odd, is, is how are you praying for us? How are you praying that our hearts would be informed, inspired, and, and maybe be moved to something aspirational toward uh, global mission or mission right across the street? So how can we pray for you? How can we pray Amen. for Word Sower Liberia? And how are you praying for us? I meant. Okay. I want to quote Paul on how to pray for me. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And so in Ephesians 6, 19, this is what Paul, Paul said. And it's also what I ask for you to pray. Paul said, pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I'm an ambassador. Pray that I may declare it fear, fearlessly as I should. Pray that I will fearlessly go into these unreached tribes and present the gospel. He also said in Colossians 4, 3, pray that God will give us an open door to the message, to bring the message. These unreached tribes are unreached because they got closed doors. Mm -hmm. And so pray that the Lord is going to find us the key to open the door to get into these resistant unreached tribes. Second Thessalonians, another prayer. And pray for us that the message of our Lord will spread rapidly, that we may be delivered from the wicked and evil people. Not everyone has faith. Just last night, one of our leaders was robbed and beat on the road. So that is one of our challenges. How can you pray for us? Oh my goodness. You have thousands and thousands to pray. Pray that we can send more indigenous missionary teams into the unreached tribes. That these missionary teams are gonna start churches where there's never been a church in this unreached tribe. Never been a church. Pray that the Lord will lay, raise up within that tribe spiritual leaders that will start churches pray for that pray that the global 100 will continue to be strong and send us more people amen, amen. you know word so or liberia we want to be a hub to train and send missionaries indigenous missionaries into the unreached tribes but also we want to train and send people from woodside those in America that want to be missionaries. We want to be a training and sending missionary hub. Pray that that can be a reality. We've already started it. It's already happening, but it's not enough. There's still 393 unreached tribes. Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much for the opportunity. And what, wait a minute. There was another prayer request. What was the other one? What 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 is your prayer for us? What, what are you praying for, for our hearts? That you're going to have an open heart to complete the mission and command of Christ to take the gospel to the world. Mm -hmm. And that that will be a priority for your church mm -hmm. to send missionaries into these unreached tribes. I pray you have such potential you have such ability. I pray that you'll continue to grow this global 100, that you will increase uh, funding to the uh, global partners. I pray that you will continue to grow and sharing your wealth of disciples, your wealth of finances to accomplish the mission of Christ for us to reach the world. That's my prayer for you that you will increase. You've already stepped up. You're already doing great. But I said, it's not enough. My prayer is you will increase. Amen. Amen. 
Thank you so much, Kim. Thank you for this time that we got to share together today. And, and I would love to just bring those prayer requests to our Father uh, together. Uh, Amen. And, and before we go into prayer, I just want to, I want to quote you uh, in a conversation we had this morning. Uh, and this is what guides my prayer for you and guides my family's heart for you as well, is that you said, I live for this work and I'd willingly give my life for this work. Amen. So as we go to our father in prayer, I want us to keep that in mind that that is exactly what his son did for each of us, that he gave his Amen. life for this work, this restorative work. Let's pray now. Father in heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus, we say thank you. God, I thank you so much for Kim, for Wordsower Liberia, for all of the great and uh, edifying work that you have done. It's your work. That it's not Word Sower Liberia's work. It's not Kim's work. It is your work ultimately that you are using Amen. to do. So Amen. please continue to uh, grant fearlessness and courage in the heart of Kim as he goes to these unreached tribes and villages. Continue to grant fearlessness and courage to all of his indigenous leaders that are going to continue on these motorbike mission trips, whether a day long or a month long, whatever the case is. Continue to give them courage to spread the gospel because that is the command of each and every one Amen. of us. And I pray that for Word Sower Liberia, you would continue to increase their effectiveness. You would continue to open doors that seem shut. You would continue to open hearts and minds that seem closed, even as uh, in the book of Acts, you recorded that you were the one that opened Lydia's heart. So I pray that you would be the one who continues yeah. to open hearts to the gospel of Jesus Christ, the life-changing, uh, life-shaping message that, that we have received here. And God, I do uh, agree with my brother's prayer for us that we would indeed increase, that we would increase in our fervor in prayer, in our passion for support to see the gospel reach each and every man, woman, and child all over the globe, because that is in your command to us, Christ, that we would go therefore. So please, uh, would you answer these prayers expediently in our hearts, in our minds, for the sake of our brother Kim, for all of his team at Word Sower Liberia, and for us, Woodside Bible Church. We love you, we praise you, we thank you, Jesus. We ask in your mighty name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us, Kim. Yeah. It's always such an encouragement to my heart and the hearts of all the people that get to hear you speak. So please keep up the amen. good work, continue in following our Lord together, and we're gonna be praying for you and supporting you, brother. God bless you. Amen, amen, thank you.